Hi, I'm Alex. I'm Hello. And I'm Manu. We are 7th graders in the FISTA school. Many species of animal are dying in Australia because of smoke and habitat loss due to fires. Thousands of people in California were forced to evacuate their homes because of wildfires reaching suburban and ranch areas. Forest fires kill animals and lower the amount of carbon dioxide being filtered by trees. Wildfires contribute massively to global warming, increasing the amount of carbon traps in our atmosphere, melting our glaciers and decreasing Earth's biodiversity. You know, on the news recently, seeing all those things about burning forests in Australia and those animals that really made me want to do something about it. Any ideas on what we could do? It's harder, but um, early detection is something we could do. Yeah, but how can we process the satellite images fast enough to detect the fire? You know, we can use machine learning. We can train a neural network to identify fire in images. So we can use the satellite imagery and check if there's forest fire anywhere. So, how about we build it? Yeah, let's, yeah do it. let's do it. The neuron holds a different weight and it adds a number of multiplies them and uses that to come up with the actual output answer. Yes. Uh, so in the neural network we're proposing, it will use softmax activation. Here's the total amount of images that we're using. Uh, total training is 1923. We take the images and rescale, uh, randomly rotate, horizontal flip, random, random zoom, uh, to make the make it harder for the neural network to train. Here we have um, input pipeline for train data, validation data, test data. Uh, here we have some sample images after it's been uh, modified with zoom and rescale and such like. Uh, here we have our model and all of the layers it has. There are five convolutional layers. Uh, the first has 32 neurons, second has 64, and the next three have 128 neurons. So right now we're training the neural network. So here we'll be testing the network on an image that hasn't been used in training or validation. So here we have a couch on fire. And here, let's test it. See, it says fire. It has identified the fire in the image successfully. Wow, that was really cool. It yeah. detected the fire. Yeah, that's cool. So what are some things we could do moving forward with this neural network?